What happened, buddy? Came up here good, full of power, and about right here. Ran out of town, and uh, this is the elk. <laughs>
Good day. It's not even broken, it's just not fixed. <laughs> We're having a contest today between you and Trav for the Ravex Employee of the Day, and the winner. The winner gets me? The winner. Oh, I was like, oh, thank you, I already won. The winner. <laughs> no, you didn't win. Oh, what's the competition? The best Ravex Employee rider gets the rest of Riley's donuts. Riley, who's gonna win? Yeah. Big phone! Oh! Snowed a little bit. Should be good. <laughs> we'll see if we can find the good stuff today. I missed it! Are you kidding? No. <laughs> Do it again! Do it again! Yep! Shot me from all I see. Right in that 
Ravex Riley, headed out, just like his old man, keep him pinned, whoa! And you went right for it, what was going through your mind? Just send it. Yeah, buddy! You okay, bud? Huh? You okay? to the best rider of the day from Rayback. What do you think? Between Travis and Anthony. And we have Travis winning it. We do? Yeah. Trav won? Yeah. 
Was there a certain move that you picked out? Everything. Everything he did was just awesome. Trap, congratulations. You've won the donut. You can have the donut, Trap. Great job performing today, bud. Thanks. You did a wonderful job. I didn't have to, you know, a bumper and a ball joint. That's yeah. what it is, right? When it, what do you have to do to win the Ravex employee? Your sled has to look like that at the end of the day. Just made it to Jackson Hole. Waiting for Ralph, Barry, and Yorkie to get off the plane. The place is unreal. Quick pan out. Mountain. What are you going to complain about this trip? Nothing. Pilot. Day one, 7 o'clock, negative 13, according to uh, the local weather. Big Neil, you nervous? I'm a little nervous. Yeah. First time doing the big stuff. I'm ready. The key to not being in an avalanche is not cosmic. We don't want to dig anybody out. We don't want to have to use our beacons and probes or shovels because that's no fun because you have five minutes before your friend dies. All right. Let's do this, boys. What up? There's team money. <laughs> Since I had been the one I eagerly And now you were neither here nor end Here's the same thing, here's that same
got out of it. That was boring. Oh! Oh. oh. Help! Give a thumbs up. Uh, McNeil, what did we learn today? Holy sh! <laughs> <laughs> you all right, bud? I need like two minutes. I didn't know to pin it or to break it, and I didn't do anything. Frank sled up here, and Frank right there. That's Frank. That's Frank. That's Frank. Let the wolves come get me. <laughs> <laughs> I started thinking to myself, I'm like, man, I think I've been sitting in the same position for about 15 minutes. I really think I'm going to see Ralph Gallagher just pop out of the woods here someplace. Because every single time I'm out and about, the guy just happens to show up. Never rode with him before. Dave Carlberg, uh, I don't think he actually even rides. I'm convinced he doesn't ride.
Okay, me and Doss here. Just arrived on the scene. We got hired by Camp Moden out of Belgrade Lakes to do a private show, a huge freestyle show with nine freestyle dirt bike riders, two ramps, 15 minute show, like just a quick finale show uh, for a bunch of camp kids as they're figuring out what color team they are on for the week at their summer camp. So it's gonna be a super cool show. This is all under wraps. Nobody even knows what's going on. No advertising, no nothing. We're gonna be in there and there's gonna be kids are watching a movie in the cinema in town, Farmington, and then they're gonna come out and we're gonna be set up out here. There's gonna be lights and Vicky Golden and Brody Wilson, Seth Beaton, and a bunch of our other buddies, the mini bike guys are gonna come out. And we're gonna rock. We got about an hour before the show goes off. We got the ramp set, everything set. The sun's going down. It looks beautiful out here in this field. It's a little windy, but I think it's going to be okay. They're going to come flying out of the building. There's another big drive in movie theater screen outside. There's going to be a video playing there, and the kids are going to watch that for about 60 seconds. Next, we have dirt bikers. Uh, Brody and Kenny are going to bring the kids down. Uh, 400 kids, 200 staff, they come for uh, mostly the whole summer and they come from all over the world and they are excited for their big uh, Color War Olympic event. They don't know what's happening, they're watching a movie in the theater, they have no idea what's about to unfold. They're going to, uh, they're in for a big surprise. We're going to rock their world. Vicky Golden riding a Ravex show, your first one ever. First one. Thank you for coming. Oh yeah, happy to be here. Are you excited about this? Absolutely. I mean, we don't get to put on a little show for all the kids, like personal show, too often. So this will be cool to get all the kids stoked on dirt bikes. Sun's going down. It's about to start. Got the lights testing out. So it should be, uh, should be good. Jake, first Ravex show. You ready to go? Yeah, we're ready to go. You excited? Oh yeah, for sure. What do you think of the setup? Be all lit up. Fireworks going. Be a lot going on. And a lot of you'll fire off on the strikes. Two minutes, two minutes on the pro from projection. One minute to show, one minute to show. Getting prepared for hopefully one of the biggest events that we will ever do. Yeah. We got pit bike guys, we got big bike guys. You wanna rip it up?
gonna show you how to fly When you get tired of the crap Baby, move over here And maybe buy some of mine
Yeah, yeah. 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 Ready to go. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Come on out. I don't got any pee on my hands or nothing. Chance am I still like, getting over that? Damn straight. You were, you were, yeah, you landed so, here. I mean, <laughs> you, you were, were on the gas. Close. Yeah. Eat it. 